In today's video, our topic is how to get an accurate row count for all tables in a database. So this demo, we're going to use the DB2 system, but a similar thing can be done for any other uh, RDBMS like Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, Postgre, SQL, uh, SQL, etc. So in the real world, we may be asked to um, get a accurate row count. Um, in case, for example, when we do a BD um, migration on DB re platform, for example, we um, move a database from Linux to Windows or Windows to Linux. Before after, we want to get a row count accurate row count, not by reading those um, estimated uh, statistics from this catalog or dictionary. So then we can compare before and after things like that. Okay. So now the basic approach is something like this. So first we connect the database, we query um, data dictionary or catalog table, whatever the RDVMS is called. So we get a list of table, get a list of table we are interested. And uh, after that, uh, we're going to run SQL against uh, each table and do a count star to get a row count. Okay. So in DB2, to accomplish this, there's quite a few methods. Here, we're going to list one, two, three. Uh, I probably can list another one, but uh, let's focus on this three method. So we're going to start with a demo script and see how we accomplish this, OK? So this is my system. Uh, let's see what I have right now. I have uh, like uh, two databases, they are IBM uh, sample database. One is GSDB, another is a sample. And uh, if we, let's see, take a look at the script uh, uh, um, I have right now, it is a very simple script. Uh, you can see it is uh, basically, I pass the database name to the script. First, connect to the database then run a db2 command uh, list tables and then get the table list and then do a count star uh, the the, the num number of rows for each table okay so let me run this script first you can uh, uh, see it is a very simple script and uh, give a very nice um, format uh, um, about the row count. So the first I'm going to against the sample database, uh, either uppercase, lowercase, doesn't matter. Okay, so this database name. Then this script is going to loop against each table. And in this case, the schema is db2 inf1. So against each table, so we will get uh, the row count and um, database schema and the name, okay? Uh, if you're interested, uh, like for example, we want to like a row count sort uh, by the number of rows, uh, you can just sort, it's very flexible. All right, so let's do a, a little bit more complicated, like GSDB. So that is another sample database. They probably have like a few hundred tables. It's gonna take a little bit of uh, time you can see um, some table has like uh, half a million rows. Uh, it's lots of schema and lots of tables. Okay. And so in this way, uh, you can sort against the schema table or sort against uh, the row count. Okay. So we'll give a very accurate row count. And uh, so, for example, uh, if we're doing a uh, like um, 
database migration project. We run this first after the database was moved to another platform or another system, they, we can run the same thing and then compare this to output. So we can confident, once we know the row count the same, we're pretty confident everything's done correct, okay? All right, so this is the script. So I'm going to just go ahead to, um, uh, like, um, use script and uh, demo how we accomplish a step by step. Okay, it's very simple. So let's uh, cut out this script one more time. So let's see, we're gonna um, copy this script to another one. So we just do it from scratch. Okay, so I'm gonna copy to a different name. Uh, and then we will uh, run those one by one. So and uh, so you can uh, you can see uh, let me will call it a trc row table row count dot sh okay so this is our new script so what i'm going to do is just do one line by line so in this we um we will we will uh, accomplish this uh, uh, script here so let's see so the first um it's let me run this script so the first script first line is uh, going to um because you need an uh, argument right so i'm going to see use sample so the first line says okay i'm gonna um uh, the script is going to compare co uh, connect the database you see like connect the database give the list of the uh, uh, connected databases show here so after that uh, let me move the exit below. Okay, the second line. So I'm going to run this uh, DB2 list tables. So let me remove this show detail first. So you can see it. Um, this is going to, uh, to be list tables for all database uh, tables, uh, including system tables, and um, give us a list. You can see that's about 400 tables. We have views, aliases, or whatever. So we are only interested to in this. The type is T, that is table. Also, we are not interested in any schema start with sys. Okay. So therefore, we're gonna create a filter. Okay. So here we just let me uh, change this uh, line to this. Okay. So I'm gonna filter anything with the sys, uh, the schema or table, because uh, then, uh, uh, according to IBM, uh, you are not uh, supposed, uh, you cannot, we cannot create anything like that, okay? So let me run this again, so you can see it. So then we filter the one only, uh, the T. Also, this is only the user tables, okay? And, uh, and at the same time, uh, if I'm using the um, show detail, the reason you use uh, show detail it is because sometimes you also long table, it's got a truncated, okay? But here, let me just, um, for uh, simplicity and uh, uh, not put the show detail of right now. So after that, then we're gonna uh, use the while loop. So we're gonna read this, the first argument I called it table second it, it is schema the third one is uh, anything else so uh, not interested so now we form this do loop right so we form this do loop and then because inside this loop we need to connect the database again and after that uh, we do a, a count step okay so let me uh, make a little bit of change so in this we um, let's see, I'm going to do this, okay? So this is the one, this is a simple one. So connect the database again, and the select count start from schema and the table name, okay? So this is the script. So we're gonna run this one. You see, this is just a loop against uh, each uh, table, but uh, we, we want this uh, being formatted more nicely to read, so that is what uh, 
we do some uh, uh, use some uh, options uh, for example for this one we're going to use uh, minus o minus o basically suppress the the connection information to the database and this i'm going to use minus x then we remove the header okay so let me try this this way then let's see what's going to happen Um, now you see it is only just give us the row count so as I said um, I want to be more nice so I also want to have the table name and the schema name behind this row count so then we use a single quote dollar s dollar t okay then becomes a string so now you can see it it says you uh, it's more nicer so the first column is the uh, row count the second column is going to be the schema and the table okay and also sometimes uh, to compare i don't want this uh, connection uh, information so i'm going to suppress this connection information same thing so we're going to uh, plus o okay so now we got uh, the same script I just uh, you know demoed from line by line how this has been accomplished okay so as I said uh, we um, first we demo use list table for all so let me put back that uh, detail but in general if the database have like a table uh, longer than um, like 64 characters uh, we will need uh, you know show detail to get uh, the long name okay so let's try one more time so this is the same script we already just demoed and I just rewrite and uh, line by line and the demo is the same thing all right so let's demo the second one the second one it is a catalog uh, query the syscat uh, dot tables uh, if this is Oracle, you probably use another table like uh, DBA tables, or all tables, or something in the SQL Server, use a schema, um, information schema, or some other uh, sys, uh, sys tables, those kind of things. And so let's try the second method. Let me make a copy. So I'm going to copy uh, this to a separate uh, script and so we can just do the same thing okay so i'm gonna call it this one trc2 okay so i'm going to make a slight modification so as i said um now we're going to use a different um, different uh, um, different uh, um, different uh, which you get the table list so we're going to use dbt select right so we want to use db2 select and the first we're going to get the tab name the second one we're going to get the tab schema from So we're going to use um, db2 uh, db2 uh, select uh, tab schema tab name tab schema from sys cat tables so we're gonna use this to get uh, the uh, the list okay so let's I'm gonna run this one let me comment it out uh, remove this so this is the second script so we're gonna use different method but uh, the the get uh, the table list is the same so we're gonna get uh, like um, first let's run this you can see it okay so we, when we run this one it's same thing it's just only that you, you see the format it's, it's different because um, 
it is very long there's so many also have system tables uh, system views blah blah okay you can see uh, tab name tab schema it's a very long okay so then what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna uh, filter the one we need so we are only interested to do is the user table okay so we're gonna use a where okay so where we're gonna see uh, tab schema right so tag tab uh, tab schema cd not like so the type of schema will not like uh, like anything start with sys okay then percentage so this is gonna considerably reduce the um, the information okay so you can see it so instead of 477 probably have 40 okay now we're gonna further reduce the uh, uh, the table list is going to be the type so the type is going we are interested only the type is t of table okay now let's go this one now you can see it's only uh, 15 uh, user tables and then we're gonna uh, do the while loop same thing so i'm gonna uh, do this one okay while read uh, tab table schema and uh, anything else okay so we're gonna uh, change this and run okay you can see it so we accomplish the same thing using the uh let's see uh, the real result is correct oh i think the problem is the header so i'm going to use minus x to remove this header let's run this again okay so this is the second method so the second method is going to the same thing we get uh, you know a uh, similar result but this time because of the, the select is ordered uh, you know um, we can do an order against the table name if we want okay all right so let's uh, th this is the second uh, method the third method is similar it's used the db2 loop the db2 loop is the you know the tool uh, to extract the ddl so so let's use the db2 loop so use db2 loop uh, i'm going to use samples database right then e is extract so if we run this we will get all the ddls create schema create table create index there's so many things create views triggers sequences so what we interested we are in only interested those things okay so i'm only interested to um, uh, create table so let's see what we get so you see this is we get the uh, 15 create uh, the statement so we are only interested in this uh, table name now we're going to uh, let me just uh, put a uh, like uh, those uh, information into the slash then now and we are only interested to uh, those um, create a table information after that we will remove those things and get the the schema name and table name okay so now you can see throughout the, the i'm going to use a awk command so use all command is going to filter the one we want so uh, let me see so i'm going to use all command uh, the field uh, the field separate is going to be the uh, double code okay i use double code to filter uh, what i want so this is the first field so i want the second field and the fourth field so this is one we want okay the separator is double code okay uh, uh, of course there's many way to do this i just want to make a uh, simple so i'm going to use dollar t uh, this is a second field 
and the dollar four this is the fourth field okay now you can see we will get uh, the table list and uh, this is the schema and uh, the table so let me switch this order because i want this uh, to be um to be uh, just reuse the one we early uh for the uh, for the while loop okay so now we get this table is use db2 loop okay so let me copy this line so i'm going to copy this to a separate script let's see trees uh, trc not the trees it just is for short uh, i will just call it a table row count three okay so let's edit this uh, this script so i'm gonna remove um, this one right so that is the second method so we're gonna use the third method so for the third method and we're gonna use the db2 loop okay let's uh, run this the third one okay so let's see if we get the same result dot trc let's see sample you can see we should get the uh, same result as the other method uh, yeah same message so you can see you get uh, um, let me go back so db2 loop sample minus e that is correct okay so now we have a three script uh they all accomplish the same uh, same right so we use db2 list table get the list of tables uh we use syscat to get uh, tables to get this now we use the db2 loop to get and uh, so if if we see um the script you see we use a loop for each table um you can also do like uh, instead of um, loop for each table you can generate a sql uh, script and just connect it this around the sql script as well you don't have to do that one by one okay you can just use a single sql script but uh, whichever way you want it's the spirit is the same okay basically you, uh, uh, let's run this same thing against uh, another database let's see gsdb gsdb okay so we will get the uh, similar thing um let's see uh, it's not a db2 um, let's see it's on to find uh, oh i see what is the problem um this should be dollar one okay so let's see dollar one okay dollar one is the parameters so uh, we need to use okay so Oh, I think inside of that also is that a dollar one as well. Let me just make sure it is okay. Now it is uh, correct. Okay, so let me just terminate this one. So we basically have a uh, three method. Okay, for the DB two, uh, for the SQL Server, for Oracle, we also have different way to do a uh, method, but the logic is the same okay it, this is the logic okay and uh, the only difference it is uh, uh, if people are uh, working on the linux system or you, you can you have a linux system can connect to the windows database you can use the shell to uh, to uh, do the loop okay if you don't have those shell like bash so you you we 
like we use like procedure uh, PRSQL or T-SQL to construction construction the loop to get uh, the result but the, the spirit is the same thing it is anyway either use a shell to uh, do the uh, the loop order to each table or we use the uh, PRSQL or T-SQL to do the loop all right okay that is um, all for today and i hope uh, may be useful uh, for people uh, working uh, in the real world okay